This is an example of how to write a mathematical proof, and in this case, I'm going to show the following theorem. Let A, B, and C be integers, then if A is not a divisor of B times C, then A is not a divisor of B, and A is not a divisor of C. The proof of this theorem is actually going to be uh, by the contrapositive method. That means that I'm going to, instead of proving this statement, I'm going to prove the contrapositive. So this is a statement of the form if P, then Q, so the contrapositive will be if not Q, then not P. So the actual statement we're going to prove is the following. If not Q, so if A divides B or A divides C, then not P, so A divides BC. So that's a statement we will actually prove uh, to prove that one. This statement is logically equivalent to that one. We begin by asserting that we are going to prove the contrapositive for clarity, and then we're going to suppose that A divides B or A divides C. Now, without loss of generality, the two proofs of A divides B or when A divides C are exactly the same, so we're going to assume that A divides B without loss of generality, we say. So, without loss of generality, we assume that A divides B, and then by the definition of divisibility, that means that there is some integer n such that b is a times n. Now, we want to end up proving that b times c is uh, divisible by a, so I have to say something about this, uh, and what I can do is plug in this formula for b in this uh, expression, so b times c is a times n times c. And now I see that a is a factor, and I just have to rewrite it uh, to use the definition of divisibility. And that rewriting involves the associative property of multiplication in the integers, uh, which I might as well uh, note here that this is, uh, I am using the associativity of the integers to be able to regroup like that. Thus, I was able to write b times c as a times k, where k is n times c, and I have to specify that n times c, uh, that k, is an integer because the integers are close under multiplication. So integer times integer is an integer. And now I have bc equals a times another integer. And by the definition of divisibility, that means that a is a divisor of b times c. And then I can say just that b times c is a times k, where k is an integer. And therefore, by the definition of divisibility, a divides b times c, as we wanted to prove, to prove the contrapositive of the statement we wanted to prove, so now this one is also proved.